guys, welcome to this week's episode of The Roundup. I've got juicy and interesting gossip for you. Lena AKG is finally getting off the bachelorette list and um, it's going to be with her ex-boyfriend who doesn't reside in the country and likes to stay hidden. Of course, a lot of media houses carry this gist and I wanted to be certain that, you know, it was true before coming up to say anything. And I'm really so happy for her. Of course, you can expect that the wedding details will be rolling in very soon. And there's so much drama going on in the Big Brother house. I don't know if you watch it, but CC just gives me so much hard times. I don't even want to tune into 198 to see them. But anyways, Coco and Anto are back. And you can expect that, as Chloe said, <laughs> she was going to tell CC off. There's been drama, fighting, and of course, they've got 25% of your wages. So we're happy for them. Speaking about Big Brother, T-Boss's dad got married over the weekend and you would expect that a marriage of course would come with like good things but trust social media truths. First off, they said he was getting married to a 400 level student, too young for him. Then why isn't his family there to celebrate the moments with him? And uncle says, you know what guys, I don't have a necessarily good relationship with my family and he went on to curse T-Boss and her siblings. I'm not sure why he had to do that, yes, but T-Boss has responded, not directly, but she says the people who will poison you are the ones that will disguise in family and friendship, you know, clothing. And last but not the least, Tiffany Haddish, this girl is, I don't know, I think we should get her on the show one time, for just one time. She knows how to give you like the details in bits and bits and just leave you wanting to hear more. So you know the Beyonce um, party that happened last year, the Kata, Kata slash Nose party, she goes on to say the reason why Beyonce actually whispered into her ears to calm down was because some lady had gone to touch Jay-Z in a certain manner that of course Beyonce didn't like and she had confronted him about it. And this girl, being high on drinks or high on drugs as Bay says, went up and actually beat Beyonce. I mean like proper biting, past tense of bite. I don't, <laughs> you know, this family, they just like to keep everything hidden and in the secret. But this is what Tiffany says. And now the quest for who beat Beyonce is up. If you find out who, kindly let me know. Well, that's what I have for you this week. And until next time, I remain Uzo. This is The Roundup.